All right, this is problem uh, 29 on the practice exam. Find the domain of the following functions. Part A, f of x is equal to 3 over 2x plus 1. Part B, h of x is equal to the square root of 4x minus 3. In order to find a domain uh, for part A, you have to find whatever that sets the denominator to 0. And for part B, you have to find whatever sets the radical to 0. So let's start with part A. As you see, I just took the denominator, came over and solved it for x, subtract 1 from both sides to get x by itself, bring it over here, 2x is equal to negative 1, divide both sides by 2, x is equal to negative 1 half. Plug it back into the equation, 2 times negative 1 half plus 1 equals negative 1 plus 1 is equal to 0 which means x cannot equal negative one-half. Since it can't equal negative one-half, it is not included. So in interval notation, your answer is going to look like parenthesis, negative infinity to negative one-half, union, negative one-half to infinity, parenthesis. You don't use brackets here because it's not included, like I said. Let's go to part B. H of x is equal to the square root of 4x minus 3. So same thing, you're going to bring it over here, solve the equation for x. 4x minus 3 equals 0. You're going to add 3 to both sides to get x by itself. Bring it over here, 4x is equal to 3. Divide both sides by 4. Once you divide both sides by 4, you're going to get 3 fourths. Now, it is included underneath the radical. 3 fourths is included. So it's equal to x is greater than or equal to 3 quarters. You plug it back into the equation you see that it does equal 0 so that's your right answer. In interval notation it's going to look like bracket 3 fourths to infinity. It's included so you use the bracket. And that's how you find the domain.